know he's on time. Yes, he is. Amen. For the Bible said he might not come when you want. But I heard. I say I heard. Anybody else heard? Yes. He's a right on time type of God. Amen. 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 Like I said, I don't know about you, but I want to find favor with the Lord. Amen. No matter how man pats you on the back. Amen. You know, they're trying to get something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're trying to pat you on the back, show you how great you are, so they can just be in line, you know, they to get something. But God don't need nothing from you because he got it all. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a word from the Lord. And we ask you to stand this morning as we go into the New Testament, the book of Hebrews. The book of Hebrews, chapter 2. Amen. Chapter 2, Amen. verses 5 through 12. Again, that's the book of Hebrews, chapter 2, verses 5 through 12. And it reads, For it was not to angels that God subjected the world to come, of which we are speaking. It has been testified somewhere. What is man that you are mindful of him, or the son of man that you care for him? You made him for a little while lower than the angels. Remember, a little while. You have crowned him with glory and honor, putting everything in subjection under his feet. Mm -hmm. Now, in putting everything in, in subjection to him, he left nothing outside his control. At present, we do not see everything in subjection to him, but we see him who for a little while was made lower than the angels, namely Jesus, crowned with glory and honor yes. because of the suffering of death, so that by the grace of God, he might taste death for everyone. Thank you, Jesus. For it was fitting that he for whom and by whom all things exist, and bringing many sons to glory, should make the founder of thy salvation perfect through suffering. For he who sanctifies, and those who are sanctified, all have one source. That is why he is not ashamed to call them brothers, saying, I will tell of your name, to my brothers, in the midst of the congregation, I will sing your praise. Amen, amen. amen. Thus you have heard, heard the readings of Hebrews chapter 2, verses 5 through 12. And the subject this morning, as you go to your seats, all in his hands. Amen. All in his hands. Amen. 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 There's a song. Not so much now, but it's a song I used to sing when I was a child. Mm -hmm. It ain't been that many years ago, but I mean, when I was a child. <laughs> and it says, simply said, he's got the whole world in his hands. Amen. Now, at that time I was singing it as a child, at that time I didn't know the magnitude or how much truth was in that statement in the song. Mm -hmm. He's right. got the whole world mm -hmm. in his hands. And I never knew then the power and authority that God has given his son, Red Cross. Okay. He's got the whole world Amen. in his hands. Mm -hmm. But that's when I was a child. For 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11 said, when I was a child, All right. I spoke, I mean, I talked like a child. Yes. 
Because our Father God, God the Father left it all in his hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why? I'm glad you asked again. I want to go to the book of John, chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. And it says it was in the beginning with God. Mm -hmm. All things were made through him. And without him, talk about you thinking about the picture, mm -hmm. nothing was made that was made. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm the CEO. 
other than we was a child, we, 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 we thought like children. But we ain't a man, we put away child's things. Now we put all things under his son's control. We can come to the conclusion. If God put everything under his control, there was nothing left. If everything is under his control, it is bad. They don't leave anything else outside. Come on, somebody. Yeah. They don't leave anything left that he did not do. But here's that something interesting in the Bible. It says, but because I already said now, everything's under his control. So there wouldn't be nothing left. But the scripture chapter 8, it says, but we do not yet see him ruling over everything. Is that a contradiction? Is that a conundrum? What, what's going on here? Again, it's all in Jesus' hands. Yes. But the Bible says he's not ruling yet over everything. Mm -hmm. Understand, there are some things at this present time that we don't see under his control. Uh -huh. But I'm going to tell you, but they will be uh -huh. in the future. Amen. The Bible says, understand, that in the last days, that Jesus will defeat Satan and all evil. So understand this, put it into content. World events and just the look at the news every day seem like they're in chaos. <laughs> but what the scripture is saying, but God is still, somebody say still, yeah. in control. Yes, he is. So what I'm saying is to tell you to be in character. Because it's all in his hand. Yes. And it says the Bible, but we see Jesus for a short time. He wasn't in this world long yet. Mm -hmm. But he was made lower than the angels. But now. Yeah, yeah, that was then, but now. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. I'm talking about August 2020, but now. Yes. We see him wearing a crown. Oh, come on. The glory.
If you ain't caught it by now, somebody keep, keep missing. God is the one who made all things. And all things are for his glory. And God wanted, now this is the Father. The Father God wanted to have many sons and daughters to share in his glory. So look what he did. So God made one son, I love all of it. He made one son perfect. And the perfect one leads other people to salvation. All right. Come on. He made Jesus a perfect savior. Sounds he made Jesus a perfect law. He made Jesus a perfect king of kings yes. through his son. Amen. God's grace for us has led Christ to die for us. Yes. And Jesus didn't come into the world for a popularity contest. He didn't come to be a celebrity. Right. He didn't come for political power. Oh. But to suffer and die. Yeah. So that you and I, yes. I see that you and I, yeah. could have each other life. Yeah. But understand this. Jesus, somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Didn't need to suffer for his own salvation. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah. He didn't, need to, he didn't have no sin. Because he was God in human form. And through suffering, yeah. Jesus completed the work needed for our salvation. Understand, y'all, this is a process. Come on, somebody. This is a process. And I suffer. Because we're all suffering now. Our suffering can make us more sensitive. Make us better servants for God. Oh, 
on somebody. Yeah. Perfect. Not only perfect right now, but perfect forever. Uh huh. And they are being made. Oh, don't you know? As we walk through hey, this whole thing is a day by day process. Right. What I'm saying is every day that we wake up, we're being more perfected, be more whole.
They beat him all night long, yes. but he never said a mama word. Didn't he work it out? Yes. They put out Jesus in the old, old rugged cross with nails in his hands and nails in his feet. Didn't he work it out when he was between two things? One hated him, and one said, remember me when you get to paradise. Amen. Amen. 
And if you have accepted Jesus Christ into your life today, amen, because of this ministry, we say welcome to the family. But the Bible does know that we are no longer strangers or foreigners, but citizens of the household yes. of God. Amen. We're saints. Congratulations on making a life-changing decision. Yes. We recommend that you join a local church, amen, for we, the Bible said that we must fellowship. And the fellowship is just not for you, but it's for the body of Christ. Amen. That we may encourage one another. Come on, somebody. Yes. Join our local church, amen, and be baptized, amen, I'm saying you identify with Christ. Yeah. And if you don't have one, a local church in your community, we ask for you to, we, we invite you to join and follow Pine Line Glen Echo Baptist Church on our social media. Yes. Well, again, we send a request to ask you to join us on Thursday evenings at 6.30 p.m. on Facebook Live or the, the, the church conference call number 760. 548-9305 for our Thursday Bible study. Mm -hmm. We ask that you that the Pine Line Good Echo members continue to support your church. And for those that are the sound of my voice, we ask you to, if the Holy Spirit has led you to support our ministry, you can send donations to Pine Line Good Echo Baptist Church, located at 6502 Alfred Lane, St. Louis, Missouri, zip code 63121 or donate through the Giveify mobile app on our website. Amen. And so until we come together again, I pray that you be blessed, be encouraged, and always pray. Amen. 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 We ask us to come forth at this time. Amen. All right, crank it up, crank it up there, Maestro. <laughs> <laughs> All right.